Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Lee. Join us as we journey around the world. In this video, we are going to show you both the day and nighttime Elsa Pereira Festival. We'll also take you to see some traditional Sri Lankan dances. We will take you through the temple where they house Buddha's tooth. Welcome to Kandy, Sri Lanka. It is a city located in the interior of the country of Sri Lanka. Look how candy transforms from the daytime until nighttime in preparation for the festival. This is the Elsa Pereira Festival, or also known as the Festival of the Tooth. The festival and procession highlights the sacred tooth relic of Buddha, which was brought to Sri Lanka from India during the 4th century AD. For more than 1,500 years, the sacred tooth relic has been carried on the back of the elephant through the procession for everyone in the town to see. So we will be watching the daytime parade upstairs at KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They have a wonderful viewpoint overlooking the street and you can also grab some lunch. If you have the time, I would definitely recommend for you to see the parade during the day. The colors, the elaborate embroidery, it's a much more relaxed environment, not as crowded. And at the end of the parade, you can get up close to the performers. Of students. They are studying English. They are from the Genius English Academy and they have stopped us here just to be able to practice some of their conversation skills. Here we are at Vito's Pizza. Look what's over here on the wall. Scott's favorite pizza in Chicago, Lou Malnati's. We liked Vito's so much, we visited there twice. Candy has this beautiful lake that you can walk all the way around. There's a nice walking path. We are going to this.
temple of the tooth. You have to take your shoes off to go inside, and you do need um, long pants. We picked a rainy night. I think we were planning on doing this in the day, but we just finished with the cultural center show, and then everyone was walking this way, so. So it looks like you purchase a ticket. So it's about six dollars a person to go in. And everyone has to take their shoes off. Upstairs here is where they house the actual tooth of the Buddha. This houses Buddha's tooth. It is encased in seven gold caskets studded with precious stones. Now we'll go inside this octagon space. The doors carved sterling silver. In this room is a golden Buddha and historical manuscripts. Scott is sporting his new men's sarong skirt, which is a traditional piece worn by male Sri Lankans. Scott will now demonstrate with a twirl his complete ensemble as he is wearing the traditional Sri Lankan skirt and the Malaysian hat. He is representing multi-cultures. So we don't have internet in this room. The drain in the shower is clogged up. They have cut the cable service. <laughs> What's next? Whoa. Well, hello. Yeah, you found us in our new room. We've been moved to the first floor. Yay! Beware of monkeys, close the doors. He's got a snazzy hairdo. They're really in the area today. See him in the back of the fence? Are you wanting to watch Josh Gates' Expedition Unknown? Our last morning in Candy, headed to the airport today. And it's about a three hour taxi ride by Lotus Lake. Oh, I am so giving up on this hotel. This bathroom now smells that's all folks